Hi BC, how's it going? I am going to do another video. And I'm going to do it right now. Got some stuff in the mail. And uh, all the way from the United Kingdom, UK, specifically Kent. Tunbridge Wells. Um, yeah. So, there's a favorite band of mine. And they're called Pugwash. And uh, they have embarked on vinylizing their back catalog, starting with their very first album, entitled Almond Tea. It was released back in 2000. And I believe that that is what this is. Yes, it is. So, um, I thought I would show it to you. I was having some of it being played, but then all of a sudden, nah, eh, not so much. Didn't want to happen. Uh, <laughs> because I was playing it through my iPad, and it didn't like the idea of my iPad and all that playing at the same time. So anyway, here is the album. Well, actually, here are the albums. Because I have two. Because they released it in two different ways. So here it is. Their very first album on vinyl for the first time. And um, Sugar Bush Records. Sugar Bush Records dot com. Pretty easy to find out. S-U-G-A-R-B-U-S-H Records dot com. And that is where you can find these to order them at a very reasonable price, including shipping. Uh, why are there two? Well, because they decided to... This is great. These inner, Oh, I see. I see. I see. This is an insert, a little slip sheet, telling you about other items that are available on Sugar Bush Records. Cool. Look forward to reading that. Um, there were two issues of this, two copies made. One on green tea vinyl. I love this. Nice labels. And just be careful with the vinyl. Very nice of them to um, ship these outside of the outside of the covers so that they didn't cause any split scenes. Now this is more of a, uh, like an English breakfast tea. I think they have a particular name for it, but you can see it's kind of a, 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 a kind of a brownish with a little bit of red in there. And uh, there you go. So they went with tea colors, which is kind of cool. And being the goofball collector that I am, I had to get one of each. Very happy I did. Um, for those who don't know, Pugwash, uh, here's the lazy man's um, description of them. Uh, if you like ELO, if you like The Move, if you like XTC, if you like The Beach Boys, if you like The Beatles, if you like Power Pop, if you like Pop, if you like Psychedelic, uh, blend all of that together, plus a whole bunch of other stuff which I'm not thinking of at the time, and you get Pugwash. Um, this is their very first outing. It's really terrific. Thomas Walsh is the <clears throat> sort of the singer and songwriter of the band. Um, the band has changed over the years from uh, this particular first outing to where they are now with a different uh, group of musicians working with Thomas Walsh. And they, they now make up the core uh, band over the past few years. Uh, so uh, I think the next album that's going to be uh, released is going to be uh, an album called Almanac. And fingers crossed that won't be too long from now or long enough that I can afford to buy Almanac because uh, spending a lot of money these days. Always spending a lot of money on records. But um, they're a worse thing to spend money on. And uh, again, Sugarbush Records, thank you very much for doing this and for uh, do a good job. The outside of this took uh, some pretty nasty crunches here in the corners, but the type of packaging they're using, you know, it has an additional protective 
interior for the records to live in. I mean, even this, even this guy, well, that, I think that was something completely different, but uh, the corners of the actual albums look fine, um, even though the exterior of the packaging took some hits. So good choice for packaging. I've gotten some, I've had some bad experience with um, LPs, vinyl, even CDs coming to me from uh, the UK or Europe and uh, some sellers will just use the cheapest, thinnest, flimsiest packaging um, to send things. So thank you very, very much uh, for um, using the packaging that you did, Sugarbush Records, thank you. Um, so a couple more things I'm gonna go through. One is I don't, I always love ordering things and then <laughs> forgetting that I've ordered them, and then what's this? So it's more, more openings. And I'm really, really curious as to what this is. Came from Amazon, so it can't be anything uh, too exotic or unusual, but I wasn't quite sure what it's going to be. Let's see. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. This is. The 1985 remixes, Paul McCartney, this came out, uh, I don't know, it was a record store day thing, um, a while back, not this recent record store day, but maybe uh, Black Friday came out, or maybe it was just released, and nobody said anything, it was like one of the worst kept secrets, I guess it was an official thing, and then finally they decided to release the mixes, but it's Paul McCartney and Wings, versus Timo Mas and James Tiege. Uh, 1985 original mix, radio edit, and club mix. So, nice to have that to add to the McCartney collection. And, okay. This, I believe, I did a post earlier. Um, a month ago, maybe, a few weeks ago, about the uh, David Bowie uh, vinyl lottery. You know, they were going to randomly um, put into circulation a certain number of transparent vinyl albums of the Changes Bowie one album that's been re-released. And then somebody tipped me off, uh, Dion. Hi, Dion. Thanks. Tip me off to, hey, this place has, has got them listed as being the transparent vinyl. Uh, but they're not in stock right now, but they'll have them in stock again soon, so they say. So here it is, and we will see. It is sealed. How they know that it is the transparent one, I don't know. But let's check and find out. I have no problem with opening this up. Using the old standard of rubbing the edge of the vinyl against my jeans to create friction to help open up the edge of the vinyl. I used to do it when I was a kid. And this is, yes, look at this. This is in fact a transparent copy, so now I have one of each. Um, could have kept that sealed, but you know, I like having it open, and I'm going to play it. And that black vinyl one, I'm going to keep that open, I'm going to play it. So, yay, happy guy. Got one of each, I'm glad I did. So, how they knew that this was going to be a transparent vinyl issue is an interesting question. I'm not going to ask them that. I'm just glad that they knew and that they sold it with the, with the uh, knowledge that it was. So I could just go ahead and pick it up and have to worry about buying another one. Put that over here. Hey, the boy. Hey. Making a mess. As usual. And this one. I know what this is. Got this a while back, about a few days ago, actually. I'm just going to open this up and show it. I'm not going to open up the box itself, but it's quite nicely packaged. 
to protect the box set within, and that is the Pure McCartney box set on vinyl and um, ta-da! I am not going to. This is very nice. I was hoping that it would be more of a not necessarily a clamshell, but a box that would sort of you'd lift the top off and all that. But it looks like everything comes out from the side there. I'm not going to tear it apart, but it says four LPs plus booklet, 180 gram vinyl, Paul McCartney's personal playlist, songs from this long winding road career, civil career, downloadable audio of all tracks included. Nice, nice packaging. Um, this is in great shape. The box itself survived. They, again, uh, I think I got this through Amazon. And uh, they did a good job packaging it. So, yay. Paul McCartney, your ball, and it's very heavy. Um, that being said, because I'm a collector, I got the box of these CDs. Had to get the CD book, too. So, that's the Deluxe 4 CD set. for four hours of music. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to share those new arrivals. Got a couple of CDs over here, but this is going to be a vinyl post, so no CDs except for this, which I showed at the end because it related to a vinyl box. Anyway, take care. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Thanks for all your comments. I appreciate it.